Filo pastries, a lot of people stay away from them because they feel intimidated. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna teach you how you can make something incredibly easy and super delicious. Let me paint you a picture. It is winter, the winds are howling and it's snowing, probably raining, and you're proactive and you throw some pumpkin from Halloween. So today we pull it out and we're gonna grate it with some brown sugar walnuts and we're gonna wrap it into filo dough, bake it with some butter. We're gonna make something called a tikvenik, which is an East European filo dessert, which is phenomenal. Now let me show you how that's done. <laughs> Alright, so let me tell you about pumpkins ladies and gentlemen. Pumpkins are phenomenal. Uh, if you buy pumpkins around Halloween and they're not dinged up and they don't have any marks on them, a pumpkin could stay in your pantry for months undisturbed and you can use it whenever you feel like it. Also, you can freeze them ahead of time so you can have them for longer periods of time. Anytime you have a recipe that calls for a pumpkin, you could use butternut squash, but if you manage to get a pumpkin, well, you're gonna have a much better dessert because the pumpkin structure is much lighter than the butternut squash. Butternut squash is slightly denser and absorbs butter better, but pumpkin is lighter and stringier and it's much better for desserts. That's why I like to get myself a couple of pumpkins and just keep them in on the shelves of my pantry. So let me tell you what we do with that pumpkin now. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to half the pumpkin. For this recipe we need 600 grams of pumpkin, which usually is going to be about half of a fairly large sized pumpkin. We want to clean the seeds, cut it in half, quarter it and then in eighths and we want to peel the skin of the pumpkin because we're going to be grating it. If you want to keep the seeds, you could because you could roast them with a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil and you can add them to dips, uh, you can blend them into paste and they just grate a little bit of pumpkin hint into other dishes. After we've grated our pumpkin, ladies and gentlemen, we want to make sure that we drain it. Pumpkins have quite a lot of moisture inherently, and we, we because we're using this as a filling to a filo pastry, we want to make sure that we don't have excessive amount of moisture in there. The way I'm going to do this is with a clean tea towel, but if you have a little bit of cheesecloth lying around, you could use that as well. After you've drained your pumpkin, put it aside and let's get down to the walnuts. We need 200 grams of walnuts that we're roughly going to chop. We don't want them in small little pieces, we're not making up a clava. We need them in nice chunks. Every time when you bite into the tikvenik, you get a nice crunch. We continue by adding one cup of brown sugar to the already grated pumpkin. I'm using brown sugar, dark brown sugar, because it has a little bit of moisture into the sugar, but also it has that molasses that fantastically well mixes with pumpkin. Then we add the walnuts to the mixture and two tablespoons of cinnamon, as well as a quarter of a nutmeg. When you add the sugar to the pumpkin, don't worry, the pumpkin inherently is going to release the rest of the water that it's retaining. That is going to be perfectly fine while we're building our tikvenik. Now, melt 200 grams of butter. Normally this recipe, ladies and gentlemen, is made in a round baking dish, but I don't have one of these. So I'm using just a normal tray that I'm adding a little bit of parchment paper on top of it. And now we are ready to assemble our tikvenik. Make sure that you preheat your oven to 180 degrees while we are assembling everything. Generously drizzle butter on the first sheet of filo. Then get pumpkin mixture, almost like a couple of spoonfuls and just generously sprinkle it on top and begin rolling the filo pastry one end to the other, much like you would roll a cigar. Then get that roll that you've just made with the filo, with the filo and the pumpkin and begin rolling concentric circles into the center of your baking tray until you end up having something like this. Brush the made tikvenik, ladies and gentlemen, with the leftover butter and add it into the oven, where you're gonna bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's phenomenally golden and crispier on the outside, where you're gonna pull it out and you're gonna leave it to rest under a damp kitchen towel for at least 20 minutes or half an hour. This will make sure that the steam gets trapped into the towel and makes sure that the pastry retains this softness and it's not uh, crunchy and hard to eat. After you're done, sprinkle generously with icing sugar, cut it in triangles, plate it, and you're ready to impress anybody. 
And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fantastic dessert that is packed with flavor and the whole house now smells like Christmas. It is just divine. The walnuts, the sugar, the pumpkin, the cinnamon, everything mixes together so fantastically well, wrapped nice and tidy into a little filo pastry, baked and melt dressed with a little bit of sugar. <laughs> so, tune in next time. But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the other half of that pumpkin. And it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna have eggs and milk and more roasted walnuts. It's just all the nuts. <laughs>